All right. You know what? There was a lot that I wanted to say. I was going to go off on a whole array of topics. I was going to go off on... Uh, I was Well, at the very least, I was going to talk about the NBA. I was going to talk about uh, China. I was going to talk about this. I was, I was going to talk about that. I, I think I'm just going to go ahead and fall back on that. But I will say, China, how come you can't be more like Japan? Japan don't bother nobody. They don't cause trouble. They don't bother nobody. How come you can't be more like Japan? Damn. They're always doing shit. All right. What are we doing? 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 We're doing a half-assed haul. I was in the I was in the process of doing of you know just getting book, books together for a half decent haul, and then shit commenced to hit the fan. Uh, shit hasn't fully hit the fan, but you know it's commencing. <laughs> it's you know it seems to be on its way. You know you know. Um. But I figured let's uh, let's do let's show what I have let's show what I what I picked up and uh, and then you know what as an added little bit of a added bit of a deal we're gonna do a short box collection we, I got a short box of comics um, that um, that you've seen before but we'll do a we'll do a short box collection okay uh, what the hell have I been doing the last month I've been I mean, I've been, hey, I've been, I've been chilling the hell out. Yeah, yeah. I've been at home. Uh, well, I'm still working. Uh, at this point right now, I reduced the days that I am working. So now I'm kind of doing four day week. I'm having like these four day, these four day weekends. And so I figured, you know what? Let's take up drinking. So <laughs> it's not hardcore drinking. It's just a yeah, it's a red apple. It's a what? A red hard apple? Eh, it's all good. Mm. Oh, that was so good. Oh, man. So good. Yummy. Anyway, um, what the hell else have I been doing? Um, I don't know. I hear a lot of people say that they're bored. It's weird to me because I haven't been bored in a long time. To be bored, it almost feels like now I'm not, you know, I'm not being judgy or anything, but before, you know, before everything started happening at recently, I was just like, dude, I can't afford to be bored. <laughs> to me, being bored is a luxury. So between eBay, between, cause all I do, you know, I'll just watch YouTube videos, uh, go on eBay, check, you know, books, sell books, prices of books. I am selling books. Um, this was my plan to just sell as many books as I can even before all the craziness happened. So I do have shit up on eBay. And if you see, check my, you know, check the link in the description. And if you see something you like and you don't want to go through eBay, uh, hit me up, mercenot at gmail.com. Hit me up behind the scenes. We can uh, do something without eBay, you dig? Uh, without eBay taking, taking the chunk out. But anyway, um, I don't know. I just haven't. It's it's just for like being bored is foreign to me even now. And I don't even have Netflix and I don't watch TV that much. I have Young and the Restless DVR'd. I watch that. That's my guilty pleasure. I'm watching the fuck out of that. I love me some Young and the Restless. I've been watching that ever since the '80s when I was a whenever when ever since I was a, a a toddler. I've been watching that show since I was a toddler. So and I'm still watching it. <laughs> And what the hell else? What else? All right. Whatever strikes, whatever strikes me. And uh, I feel like saying that. I'll say it. But let's get into this half-assed haul. Cage number, what number is this? Cage number two. I forget what year this is from, but it's from that series. I had an Arthur Adams variant, uh, number four. I thought that was really cool. I You, you had seen that uh, however many months ago. And this is from that same series. I love this cover. This is a Bruce Tim cover. Uh, the the um, guy behind the creative, the artistic uh, mind behind the uh, animated series, the uh, style. Uh, great looking kind of, 
uh, Batman the Animated Series style art. So I dig the shit out of this cover. Uh, the book doesn't go for that much. I want to say it goes for maybe $30 to $40 or something like that. But I picked this up for... Ooh, picked this up for seven dollars either seven or 750 but i was i was on the lookout for this book and when i saw it i'm just like oh gotta get it gotta get it all right what's next what's next what's next what's next the hood the hood number one so we have uh how many copies is this now it's it's a few it's a few it's a few copies i have already but uh, first appearance of Parker, Park, I want to say Parker Stevens, but it's Parker Robbins. Uh, first appearance of The Hood from uh, Brian K. Vaughn. Uh, I'm pretty sure I paid cover price. All right. Injustice number two. I believe that was cover price as well. First appearance of Athanasia Al Ghul. Uh, 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 Batman's daughter. Out, or I think, I think possibly Batman's daughter outside of uh, DC continuity, but uh, I've talked about this book a lot, but I really, really dig this book. Uh, this book has a lot of potential uh, in the near future. Batman Beyond number five. I honestly don't remember when I bought this book. I don't remember what I paid for it. I just know I have it, and I know I never show. I know I had never shown it before, so <laughs> no better time than the present. All right, now these, well, this one here was, I found this in the dollar bin early uh, in March, or I want to say mid-March. How about that? I found this mid-March in the dollar bin, X-Men number four. It's probably in VF condition. All right, it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. I knew, I, I knew finding a dollar copy of that wasn't, it still wasn't out of the realm of possibility this book got hot um in the past month or two what is this this was two dollars dcu heroes files and origins first appearance of oh shoot the first actual appearance of star girl i think something like that something to that effect i found another copy of this last month house of x number two all right, okay, cover price. Found that for cover price. Let me finish off this uh, Red's Apple Ale. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, it's so yummy. Oh, God. Mm. 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 Ah, yeah. I have a bottle of Gentleman Jack. I have this bottle of Gentleman Jack that got, like, God, back in, I want to say June... 2018 uh, my uh, buddy gave it to me because uh, I was his, uh, I was the best man at his wedding and uh, I still have it now the last bottle I had I ripped through that thing in like uh, in like a really short time but now I don't know I don't drink that much so uh, I'm just kind of <laughs> I'm taking my time with that one all right what's next what's next what's next I paid damn I think I paid five dollars for this Incredible Hulk number 282, uh, first meeting, well, first team up of the Hulk and She-Hulk. Okay, all right. All right, this book is in really nice condition. Like, man, I really don't say 9-8 that much, but this looks like a 9-8. Damn, this thing is gorgeous. Holy cow. All right, definitely worth five bucks, at least to me. All right, what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Expeditiously. All right, now this is a book from a long time ago. I was about to show this book, and then I said, no, no. But I'm showing it now because uh, special circumstances. So we have Night Nurse, number one. This is from a very long time ago, but I had never shown it. And this is, uh, how much was this? So this was, this cost me $50. I bought this thing a long time ago. <laughs> uh, it's probably in fine condition, but hey, 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 man, man. All right, what's next? What's next? I believe I paid, uh, I want to say I paid 50 cents for this. So we have Superman 10, first appearance of the Super Sons. All right, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All right, ooh, got some spawn issues here. 
So we have Spawn number 77. Spawn number 77. I believe I paid $4 for that. Um, awesome, awesome cover. Now, this is a book that I actually had been after just for the hell of it. I'm not necessarily a Spawn fan. Matter of fact, I sold most of my Spawn stuff. I sold, I sold pretty much all of my Spawn stuff just because I'm not, you know, I'm just not that big a fan of the character. And I'll probably uh, sell these spawns off uh, pretty soon. But uh, Spawn 141. This book is really, really hard to find. I've been on the lookout for this since, I want to say, December. Uh, first appearance overall of uh, She Spawn. And uh, great looking cover. What else did I want to say about this? I, pay, I, got, I got this for cover price. I paid, I paid cover price for this. This is um, this along with the uh, this uh, Super Suns. Uh, this was from a store that I go to. This is one of my honey holes. And um, all you got to do is dig. All you got to do is dig and you'll find something. And uh, the store manager, he gives amazing, amazing deals. So I uh, found this for three bucks. The cheapest that I had seen this, I, I want to say, uh, I want to say back in December. And it was like maybe... Uh, I want to say either 20 or, damn, I want to say around $25. And I'm like, dude, I'm not paying $25 for that. <laughs> but cover price, you bet. You bet. What's next? Spawn number 119. First cameo of, um, first cameo of Gunslinger Spawn. All right. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, all right. Now, this store here was... Ah, ah, yeah. I want to say these were pretty much my last pickups before um, everything went crazy and everything started shutting down. I want to... I think... I think that's what happened. All right. So... Went to a store, and uh, the store owner let me look through uh, the back, and I pulled out another set, found another set of uh, five Ronin. So we have number one, number two, uh, number three. Number four, the very hard to find Psylocke issue, and another hard to find issue, uh, number five, featuring Deadpool. Yeah, very happy about that. Paid two dollars a book. Paid two dollars a book. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that sweet? Ain't that sweet? Hell yeah. Ah. Oh, it had the shape of a man, but it wasn't a man. Not anymore. Okay, all right, cool. Cool, that's the quote on the comic. So, yeah. Got these for $2 a piece. Hells, yes. Yeah. I've got another set. Yeah. These aren't as nice as the uh, set that I bought uh, a couple of months ago, but, hey, they're still solid, and they were $2 a piece. Also found this for uh, $2. Spider-Man Adventures number 10 featuring uh, Venom. Great looking Venom cover. And what else did I find? What the hell else did I find? I paid $5 for this. Mm, uh, uh, that seems a little... I don't know. For some reason that seems a, a, a little bit much. Especially for me. But I don't know. It's a first appearance. I don't know. This book doesn't get its due, in my opinion. People are so uh, caught up with the uh, Third Claw variant that uh, people seem to want to overlook this. But um, Wolverine Origins 10, first appearance of Dokken. Okay, it's all good. Uh, pay $5 for it. Found this for $2 from this store. Uh, the infamous issue, um, uh, Mockingbird number 8. I've talked about this book before. Uh, this was <laughs> pretty much... The signal of the Marvel's decline right here. This was the, uh, along with, what what else? The Captain Marvel number 17 cover. 
and probably a bunch of other shit that I can't think of right now. But this was definitely the uh, one I did. I just wasn't. I, I, you know what? I've talked about this book enough. <laughs> We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. Oh my god! You know what? I'm going to talk about uh, the new war, the new new warriors that came out, and uh, the guy uh, who created them. Oh my god! How much of a wuss? How much of a pansy do you have to be? To think that a sissy is a stereotypical jock. What's wrong with you? <laughs> that dude looks like an old baby. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. Uh, Web of Spider-Man number 70. Web of Spider-Man number 70. Um, pay $2 for that. Okay, all right, so... That's my haul, and you know what? We got, we have quite a few, quite a bit of books in this long box. We're gonna get through this long box. It's quite a, look, check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out. So we're gonna get through these books in this, no, it's not a long box, it's a short box. So we got quite a few books in this short box. What's in here? What the hell is in here? What, ooh. There's a lot of shit in here. Now, this box here is my... It was my CGC box. And I'm not quite sure because I was thinking I was going to go ahead and see and see about submitting these books in here to CGC. But I'm like, mm. It's funny because I haven't... I have, like, no interest in submitting books. I have no interest in even pressing books. I haven't pressed a book in, like, a year. Well over a year. And I don't know, I think I'm waiting for that one, like, awesome, awesome old key issue to want to press. I let one slip through my fingers last summer, and ever since then, it kind of took the wind out of my sails. So, I'm just kind of like, eh. If, if something comes along, great. If not, not a big deal. But I just have no interest in um, really having shit graded right now. So this box is just here, <laughs> this short box. So we have uh, the Century, number one, uh, the Comic-Con variant. This cover sucks, but it's it's relatively hard to find, so it's relatively expensive. And then we have uh, the Century, the other variant, the other variant. This one, I, pay, I remember paying $2 for this. Um, I actually saw this book. And then I didn't like the condition on it. It was like $2, but I didn't buy it because I didn't like the condition. And then, like, I'm like, what the hell am I thinking? And then a month later, I go back to the store and it's still there. So I'm like, okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm buying it, I'm buying it. And this was a while ago, of course, before uh, the century really started popping off. And then I have, like, all of these copies of uh, the century but the funny thing is, I don't think any of these are like 9.8 worthy. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, not one, not two, not three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe, I, I'm thinking maybe this one, because this one is in the, um, the Mylar. So I'm thinking that this one is maybe, look at that. Ooh, my hair, let my hair grow out. I didn't feel like I don't feel like cutting it. Who am I trying to look cute for? So uh, yeah, I just, like none of the like I have these copies, but I just don't think any of them are nine eights. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, all right. I just will. I guess we'll just keep them wrong. Screw it. And then we have these two. I think these are definite nine eights. Uh, the Detective Comics uh, one thousand. These two copies here. Um. I, but I don't know. It just feels pointless to have those graded now. What the hell else do I have? I have a, um, I have a, or, or rather, Batman number 386. This is definitely the nicest copy that I have. Actually, I think this is the only one because I sold, I sold one about a, a few weeks ago. I sold my other copy a week, a couple of weeks ago. So, who knows? What the hell else do I have? What's it, what else is in this short box? Oh, I only have I only have four copies of Bloodstone number one. Again, I don't think any of these are nine eights. 
Not really. Because eh, a few of these, they look great um, from the front, but then in the back, like when you turn them up, when you turn them upside, or rather, when you flip them around, they have like a bunch of like ticks and jabs and all that kind of shit. And it's just like, eh, I'm not going to get 9-8. What else do I have? Uh, a couple of copies of Eternal... Oh, no, I got more than that. I got three copies of Eternal Warrior number four. Again, I don't think any of those are nine eights. A Brightest Day number four, first appearance of... First appearance of uh, Aqualad, the new Aqualad. The black Aqualad. I'm not sure why this is in there, because this is a book I really wouldn't think... I want to get graded, but uh, first appearance of Gwen Stacy. It's it's in decent enough condition, but definitely not CGC worthy. I don't know. I don't think so. Nah, nah. What else? What else? What else? I know I have more copies of this. I hold off. I hold off on that one. And here's a book I've been collecting over the years. Uh, Adam. Legend of the Blue Marble. How many copies of number one do I have? I got one, not one, not two, not three. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight copies? Shit. And it's funny because I sold a couple and I still have eight. All right. It's all good. It's all good. Again, I don't think any of these are nine eights. That's the funny thing. Maybe I'm thinking maybe this one because it's in the Mylar. I don't know. Maybe if I flip it around, it'll have a bunch of dings and shit on it. Maybe, quite possibly. Mm -hmm. uh, see, look at that. I'm like, let's see that little marker. No, it's not a nine. No, none of these are nine eights. Got eight copies and no nine eights. Go figure. Damn, I'm upset. It's hurting my feelings. <laughs> and then we have uh, the rest of the series. Uh, number two. I have a few copies of number two. Like, these are the books. These are the types of books that I've been collecting over the years for, like, really cheap. I don't think I paid more than a dollar for any of these, really. Um, number three, four. Uh, no, yeah, there's number four. A couple copies of number four and one copy of number five. I picked this up from uh, Yanni Gugalak uh, a while ago. Or uh, Sleepy John on the uh, on the uh, Comic Book Wars podcast. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, what is this? What the hell is this? What is all this shit here? What else is in this short box? We have some Devil Dinosaur action going on. We've got some Devil Dinosaur action going on. So we have Moon Girl. That we have the variant for uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur regular cover. Uh, the variant for number two. Um, I, why, why are these in here? These are definitely not CGC worthy. Uh, so we have the old school Devil Moon Boy and Devil Dinosaur. Okay. Oh, this is actually... have this, this one looks really nice. Holy shit. Let's see. This one looks nice. I take that back. Look at that. That's a nice one. Hmm. Okay, that's a really nice high grade one. All right, okay, never mind. Okay, fuck. <laughs> well, shit. Okay, so we have some of these. What else do I have? Oh, I'm not going to show those just yet. I've got a copy of Wonder Woman number 72. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe it's a 9 8. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Listen. I'm taking my time with this video. I don't know when I'm. I, I don't know when I'm gonna see you guys again out there in uh out there in video land. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Nine eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm gonna have to flip the thing back. I'm gonna have to flip the thing over and see what's happening. See if there's any nicks and cuts and all that kind of crap. Two copies of Jimmy Olsen, number one thirty four. I'd like to think that I was ahead of the curve when this book, because um, I remember buying these back in 2012, 
um, before, like back, like 2012, these were $20 books at the most, $20 books at the most, and then they uh, kind of blew up, so yeah, yeah, got two nice, really nice high grade, uh, are they, mm, let's see, let's see, what, uh, no, 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 I mean, Oh, see, a couple of dings right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm. Nope. Let's see what else what we got here. A uh, couple, of, couple of nicks. A couple of nicks. Oh, no. Uh, well, I mean, they're decent. They're decent. Deep color. Great looking covers. So, what are you going to do? Three copies, not one, not two. Got three copies of Harbinger Number One. These are the books that I had been collecting over the years. Uh, I believe this is this is the okay. Now this is the one that I picked up for a dollar a couple of years ago. This is the one that I paid I think thirty five dollars for, and this is the one I paid a dollar for back in two thousand six. I can tell. <laughs> They're like my babies. I can tell. Uh, we got a couple of copies of Eternal Warrior Gold. We have two versions of Eternal Warrior Gold. Uh, we have the flat version where the um, where the logo or trade dress trade dress is in black, and then we have this cardstock cover, and the warrior is embossed in gold. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. These I love I love me some early Valiants. Valiant now, not so much. Valiant now can eat a dick, but uh Valiant back then was awesome. So you have three copies of Batman 567. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely not worth having graded now. <laughs> uh what else? What else is here? Uh, a couple copies of Spider-Man 101. I would say this one is VF. Actually, I think both of them are VF. I kind of like this one maybe a little bit better, even though there's like some stuff going on in that corner. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I got a couple copies. What you gonna do? Uh, what else do I have? What else? What else is here? Uh, Archer and Armstrong Gold. I think I paid $6 for this back in 2006. I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did that. I uh, got a couple copies of uh, Batman 357. This was, I think these were, shoot, maybe $10, $20 books back in 2012, I'm thinking. Uh, uh, Shadow Man, number 13, first appearance of Punk Mambo. I talked about this book. Uh, man, however many years ago and then shortly thereafter the book kind of blew up yeah all right i'm not sure about this one i was thinking this was a 9-8 but now not so much uh transformers number one and it's a nice crispy newsstand let's see let's take a look let's take a look let's take a look mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. what do you think eh, it's decent enough Okay. Ninjack. Gold. I love this book so... Oh, shoot. Love this book so much. Eh. <laughs> Nothing more I really wanted to say about it. I got two copies of Marvel Age number 97. The, um, I guess you could say, first preview appearance of, uh, of uh, Darkhawk. I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look at the back and see. The front looks great, but... Gotta see about the back. Batman number 608, the second print. I remember this book. When I found it, I was... Because, hell, I remember even shortly after this book came out, uh, around 2003, late... Uh, God, yeah, it was early, early 2003 when this... Yeah, shit. When did this book come out? Late 2002, maybe early 2003... This book was like a like right out of the gate. It was like a fifty dollar book because it, it came out for cover price and then it just shot up 
to fifty dollars. Now it's around a two hundred dollar book. But um, even what 10 15 years ago this book was like really expensive and i saw this book in a long box for ten dollars i remember finding this book for 10 bucks i was so excited like super duper excited and for some reason i was disappointed because i didn't have the cash on me and i had to pay with a credit card i'm not quite sure why i was so disappointed because like when you see a really good deal like, you want to have the money ready to pay. You know what I'm saying? You want to have that cash. Just be like, oh, 10 bucks here. Like that. You know what I mean? Instead of having to fumble around. And then the dealer will have to, like, will, will like, second think it. And then go, like, oh, never mind. You know what I mean? You want to pay right then and there. But, yeah. Uh, Batman 608 second print. Got you for 10 bucks. Hell yeah. Ah. Um, another copy. My second copy of... X-Men 101, this is probably, eh, probably a VF. I have one that's graded in 8.5. So I'm thinking maybe this isn't, maybe an 8, maybe, maybe, quite possibly. Venom, Lethal Protector, number one, gold. Got a gold, hell yeah. I remember getting this for 15 bucks a couple years ago. I still can't believe that. I found two copies. One was 10. Uh, one was, you know, slightly lower, slower, lower condition, or rather lower grade. And then I found this one, um, found two copies at once. One was 10. The other with this one was 15. God, that was awesome. Ugh! All right, uh, what is this? We have Batman, Batty Man, number 635. I already have one that's a 9.8. I don't know why I got it graded, because it really doesn't go for that much, even in a 9.8. It's weird. Eh, okay. All right, okay, okay. Uh, what is this? We have a couple of copies of Amazing Spider-Man, number four. Eh, for Silk, eh. Okay. I mean, I thought I think they're high grade enough to. No, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's worth having grade. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, damn. There's quite a few copies of this. I do know that it is quite a few. So we got not one, not two, not three. So you got you got five copies of uh, Mr. Miracle number four. This again. This is one of those books that you know. I was like, oh, first appearance of Big Barda. Okay, it's all good. I wish you were on the cover, but I think this might be the nicest copy that I have. This might be. It's it, this one. This book is weird because it should just go for a lot, no matter what the grade. But it's like it has to be really high grade for it to actually sell um, respectably, or have or. Like, it just isn't worth having graded if it's not, like, really high grade. Uh, a couple of copies of, um, well, rather one. We have uh, Betty and Veronica, uh, 161, 162. Uh, probably not. If I'm lucky, this will be, like, nine sixes. But I, no, I, no, I probably won't have it graded. Uh, uh, the, the book that I found for a dollar a year ago. Oh, man. This is a great dollar find. Power Girl number 27. I would say this is a 9.8. It would, I think it would be worth having graded, but only if, if like, it was definitely a 9.8. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Burn? But, yeah. All right. Uh, Miss Marvel number 12. The Red Widow cover. Okay. Uh, uh, Maiden Pity, Maiden Pity Man number two thirty eight. Now I do have one that's a nine six, that came back in the nine six. I don't think this one is a nine six. I don't think. Mm, Prime. I think I paid. God, how much did I pay for this? I think I paid. 20 bucks for this like maybe a couple years ago and it still has a tattoo God, i can't remember what i paid i know i didn't pay that much i do know that i think i think it was like maybe god i think it was like maybe 15 or 20 dollars like this thing was cheap i was shocked 
uh, green. Eh, no, no. <laughs> uh, we have a couple copies of the first uh, Beta Ray Bill. I really, I can't tell if either of these are nine eights or not. I can't tell. It's tough to say. Mm, I know if, if, if this one looks a little bit faded. This cover looks a little bit faded. What do you think? Let's see. Because there's a little thing going on right there. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, me. What's next? What the hell is next? We've got some... Uh, we got some re re <laughs> we got some re re Williams action coming up. Let's see. Uh, yeah, four copies of uh, number. Oh, I remember these. I definitely remember these. These are the ones that I paid cover price for. Let's see, <laughs> I still have the tags on these. I remember. Ooh, sorry about that. Ooh, sorry about that blur. Holy shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, yeah. I definitely remember these. And I... Okay, and I paid cover price. I want to say I paid cover price for these as well. So, I think these are 9 8 But, I don't know. I don't, know, I don't feel. I don't think I want to risk it. <laughs> I had a really bad batch comeback from CGC last year, and ever since then, I'm just like, eh, that shit put that shit turned me off. <laughs> um, what is this? What if number one hundred five? First uh, Spider Girl. Yeah. Um, Super Friends number seven. I'm thinking this is a nine six. I'm thinking I did press this book. But I'm no, I'm thinking it's a nine eight, but I don't know. It might be a nine six. The book looks really nice. Vision number one, the um one in twenty five variant. I believe I believe I've looked at the back, like the back uh spine, and maybe there were some flaws on it. I don't know, I can't remember. And then we have three copies of uh, Static number 1 Platinum. Yeah. All right, what else do I have? What else do I have? Now, these were kind of the moderns. These were the moderns. And uh, let's do some Silver Ragers, huh? Huh? Let's do some Silver Ragers. So we have uh, this book here. I love this book so, 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 so much. Love this book. Amazing Spidey number 9. Hell yeah, this book is solid as hayo. Love this book so much. Yeah. Um, what the hell is this? A couple copies of uh, uh, Marvel Special Edition 15. I think I paid like $30 for both of these. Hell yeah, very happy about that. Um, Detective 359. I do have a copy that's a four. And I was thinking if I could get a four on this, I'd be happy. Mm. We'll see. Here's the book that I picked up on, well, rather the day after Thanksgiving. I remember buying this and a lot of other books for two fifty. Now I sold quite a few of those books, and the profit from that basically meant I only paid like $50 for this. So <laughs> that worked out. That worked out very well. All right. What? Ooh. So we got a couple copies of uh, Fantastic Four, number 49. I would definitely say... It's funny. I saw... I found this like a couple of years ago for like 125 And I think... I think I paid 100 for this. For this copy as well. So I didn't really didn't pay too much for either of these. They're decent enough. I am I would hope that either of these would be a four. Either of these would be fours. Eh, you never know. You never know. Here is a decent copy of Marvel Spotlight number five. And if I could get maybe... I don't know. 
maybe a uh, maybe a six. I'd be I'd be happy with that. Mm, who knows? Who the hell knows? Oh, look at ooh. No, we're gonna hold. We're gonna. And you know what? Let's do this one now. Let's do this one now. Yeah, yeah. I picked this up a year ago. Uh, I still have yet to even press this thing. I don't even know if I'm gonna handle it. Honestly, it doesn't even. I don't. Even, I don't think it even needs pressing. To be quite honest with you. Yeah, Fantastic Four number five. My second copy. I got two copies of this baby. Look at that. Yeah, it's got the marble chipping, but that's okay. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah. Gotcha. Got two copies. This is definitely one of my favorite books here. Because I remember I had a really, really ratty copy that I sold uh, however many years ago. And I wanted to get it back. And then I found uh, a graded copy for like 1300 and uh which is worth way more now and then uh i found this for god how much was this i don't even god i don't remember how much this was like maybe i want to say 17 I paid 17 for this or rather 1700 but to me it was worth it just because i love this book definitely this was definitely this is definitely the most i've ever paid on a comic definitely uh what's next What's next? Tales of Suspense, number 57. Uh, yeah, that's a really nice looking copy. Definitely the nicest copy I have. Tales of Suspense, number 52. Definitely the nicest copy of uh, number 52 that I have. That, this thing is gorgeous. I really dig this book. Love it. Let's take a look. Shiny as hell. It's looking shiny and new, like the love boat. Yeah, boy. All right, uh, we're I think yeah we're winding the bases we're winding the bases, okay. Oh, uh, another amazing Spider-Man number fifteen, yeah boy. Mm -hmm. When did I pick this up? I forget. And I forgot. I even forgot how much I paid. Um, oh, we have another nice CGC worthy copy of. Uh, Tomb of Dracula number ten. It's Tomb of Dracula number ten. I'm. I would hope this one is an is at least an eight. I would hope so. I do have a graded nine point two, but uh, I would hope this one is at least an eight, so I can have like two graded copies. Uh, Hawkman number four. I love this book so much. Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, Green Lantern number eighty seven. Uh, what is this? I don't know how I came. I don't know how the hell I got this book. I don't know where it came from, how much I paid, any of that shit. Uh, Strange Adventures number 180, first appearance of the Animal Mang. And, oh shit, it's still not done. We have um, not one, not two. So we got four copies of uh, 194. I would, I think, now I had one copy that was a graded. Uh, 9.0. I just sold that one. And uh, I think this might be the nicest copy that I have. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, maybe. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. It's all good. All right. You know what? We're going to do a bonus round. We got a bonus round. Now, I had no intention of having these graded i just have them in the box maybe with the exception of this third book so we have marvel spotlight number two i told the story about how i found how i got these i got like there was a store they got like a complete run of werewolf by night and um so, and and on top of that they also included uh marvel spotlight number two so i found the entire run of, of werewolf by night and Marvel Spotlight number two, and uh, so I sold, so I sold the majority of them. So I, I think I paid like four hundred dollars for the entire set, and then sold like the kind of nine key issues for like a hundred. So I only I wound up paying like three hundred dollars for these. Uh, Werewolf by Night number one. And that Werewolf by Night number 32, I did have graded and it came back an 8.5. But I found another 
uh, Werewolf by Night number 32. And man, I, this one is really nice. This definitely, this one is definitely nicer than the 8.5, but you never know. You never know. So I, I included this in the group. But you have uh, Marvel Spotlight number two. I really would like to upgrade this just because I don't know why. It's nice enough, but you know. Uh, Werewolf by Night number one, number 32. I love the condition on this book. I love, love, love the condition on that book. Number 37 and number 33. All right, so yeah, that's my uh, that's my uh, short box collection. Yeah, how many how many minutes is this so far? Woo! Well, you know what? We are running, we're running past time. So I don't know when I'm gonna see you guys again. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Shit is nuts so but so. But um, I hope you guys are um, staying safe and uh, being careful and being healthy. Uh, take your vitamin C. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for me. <laughs> I'm having a good, listen, I'm having a good time. I don't know about y'all, but I'm having a good time. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys uh, hopefully soon. All right.